Oh, is it a fella? I don't know. Woman? Is it she? So yes, we got to the part where Weedle saved this person that was covered in rags and been a attacked by a group of townsfolk. Drove them away, he did, with his sword held aloft, shouting and screaming. You know, kind-hearted man. And upon the uh, the person in rags addressing Weedle and thanking him for his uh, help, he recognised it to be Nimira, the Daedric Lord. Well, he said, you could have cast those people down if you were so desired. Anyway, he asked for a wish as a reward for saving or coming to the assistance of Nimira and asked to be uh, her apprentice so that he could learn from her all her ways and whatnot. But she said no. She does not need an apprentice. Okay. Look at that. But he was not uh, going to lay down without a f or go down without a fight, so he followed Nimera. Wherever she went, he followed in her footsteps, begging still and asking repeatedly to be her apprentice. And this went on for, thir I think it was 33 days. And on the 33rd day of all this constant nagging and begging and harassing to become her apprentice, she turned around and said, you have passed your apprenticeship. Oh. <laughs> Wrong spell. Okay, let's see how much these cost now, these fire bolts and... Oops, slightly off target. Good shot. Look at the difference. Look at the difference in mana cost. Quite profound. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, the apprentice it was passed. The 33rd day of begging to be her apprentice, and she turned around and said, You've already passed, my friend. <laughs> so, uh, shocked upon that. Okay, fair enough, I've, I've passed the apprenticeship. And uh, she bestowed upon him a gift for passing his apprenticeship. I can imagine Widow stood there, wide-eyed and expectant. Ooh, what's my, what's, what's my gift going to be? And... Uh, am I hearing Learn Root here? She bestowed upon him the gift Three gifts, in fact. She must have been feeling extremely kind that particular day. Uh, she bestowed upon him the gift of disease. Yes. For as long as he shall live, he shall be cursed, afflicted with one disease. At least one disease. And that disease will be one with a physical uh, affliction of some kind, i.e. leprosy or some nasty disease that leaves you rather unsightly. And that will be at all times. The second... Uh, gift that she bestowed upon Weedle was the fact that whenever somebody sees you, they shall take a great pity upon you. After seeing your horrible condition, they shall, you know, be rather sorry for you. And the third gift, as we are heading way in the opposite direction to where we need to go... Isn't there a flaming path to get down here? I mean, for God's sake, where's the signposts? Have I missed them? I'm off up here. Uh, <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting lost now. And the final gift is one of disregard. Somebody, even though they may see you, they will disregard your presence because you will be nothing more than a disease-afflicted nobody. <gasps> Strawberries? Oh, snowberries. Never seen them before. And as you can imagine, Weedle was quite shocked. Oh, look at that fox! Come here, foxy! As you can imagine, Widdle was quite disgusted with those gifts. Gifts, he said. They're not gifts, they're curses. Diseased. To be pitied by people and be disregarded. But there was method in her madness, old Namira. For Widdle, in his condition, headed to the town and began to, began to beg pretty much. And being so unsightly as he was, I don't know where I'm going here, chasing a fox, 
down the mountain and look at this! Holy moly! We've come the wrong way, but it's a nice sight we've come to. <laughs> we've come to a bit of a dead end, I think. Probably gonna have to go back to the nearest sign of Iverstead and try and work my way through. What a bizarre place. Unless, of course, it's this bridge here. I don't, I'm not sure. So he went to the town and he begged, and because of his condition and the fact that people took pity on him as per Nimira's gift, he became quite rich from people just, you know, throwing coins at his feet. It's another one of those moments where you really just need to take a step back out of your day <laughs> and just admire that it is very, very nice. Very nice indeed. We have a beautiful waterfall. We're in the middle of nowhere. But who cares? I'm lost. I'm supposed to be going to Iverstead and I'm nowhere near at this moment in time. But you know what? I don't really care. I'm up here. I've got a beautiful view. Some nice music playing out. Okay, I'm gonna try going up this way now. See if this takes us anywhere near where we're supposed to be going. And there we go, that was the story of the Beggar Prince. Well, I'm actually quite shocked, I'm not shocked, but I expected these long traipses between place to place to be rather uneventful and I'll have time to talk about these books that Elwyn's reading, but I'm finding it actually there's a lot of things to talk about, there's a lot of things to see. Um, as you know, I get easily distracted, so as soon as I see something that I like, I'll have to pull off anyway and have a look, like there's another waterfall there, for instance. So, I'm not really finding myself, I'm, not, I'm, I'm finding myself short of time to talk about these books, which is a bonus, of course, I don't want to... Oh, let me go high up the mountain. Oh, okay. Isn't there something, ain't it, dear? You're rather quiet. We're winding our way up, 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 up. I don't know where we're winding our way to. This could be the way we're supposed to be going. I'm just going with the flow. So we're going to the top of the mountain, but uh, we'll keep going. If it ends up being wrong, I'm sure there'll be something here worth our time. <laughs> in fact, what time is it? One o'clock in the afternoon. Kill the spider, some some mages that almost killed me. But apart from that, it's been a relatively peaceful day. If this really is the way to where we're supposed to be going, it's a rather long-winded affair, I have to say. Say that much. That's a, that's a different waterfall. Strange texture, though. <laughs> what the? Well, I think we're reaching the top of this place. Does it look like we're supposed to be going this way? Well, we've got some signs of life. That's a good start. Hello there, travelers. Stendar's mercy be upon you, for the vigil has none to spare. What's that? It's panting, it's looking around. Looks like some kind of... is it a bear? Whatever it is, I don't like it. Oh man, is it one of those saber tooths? I may just put stone flesh on here. Oh, that's it, off. Bad move. Oh my god, Lydia. No, Lydia, no. Don't do this. Woof! Woof! 
<laughs> yes! Oh! What the hell are you doing? You damn fools! offense at the fact that we attacked their pet cat. Oops, I didn't mean to take that. Vigilant of Stendar. Potion of Cure Disease, Minor Healing, re Resist Potion Recipe, Restoration Robes, Amulet of Stendar! Steel cuff boots, belted tunic. Immortal blood, some kind of book. Okay. Let's keep going before anything else happens. Look at this as well, like fast moving downhill stream as we can walk alongside it. Butterfly, butterfly, catch the butterfly. I believe this is probably the right way. I say probably the right way. It's not forced to be, but uh, we're going to go this way anyway. Gods growing wildly. Hello? Oh, is it is it a fox? What is this thing? I wanna know what it is. It can't uh, they look like foxes. Come on. Before more wildlife decides to attack us. Up or down? Try going up. Are you stuck? Uh, this is it. It's gotta be here somewhere. I've gotta be going the right way now. Come on. Oh, I am. Excellent. Let's just keep going. Gosh, there's a cave here, quite close to my location. over the bridge and it's just there. Probably that's probably it there, right there in the opening. I might just uh, pop over there just to um, just to jot it down on my map for future reference. Should I require to return for whatever reason? Oh what's this? Are we here? Ah we are indeed here we are on your way up the 7,000 steps again, Clement? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. The path isn't safe. Aren't the Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. Really? And what the hell would you deliver up to High Hrothgar? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Mm. And what do you get in return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. 7,000? 
You know, I'm going up there anyway. If you wouldn't, if you, you know, you could leave them in my hands and I'll take them up for you. I'd hate to see you collapse halfway up and have a heart attack or something. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Right, and can you tell me anything else about High Rafka that I should know about? I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Well, thanks a lot. Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. Yes, perhaps. Those... Hello, my friend. What can I do for you on such a fine day? Oh, nice to see you, happy chappy. My father taught me an important lesson many years ago. He said, Gwilin, you have the whole world before you. Go out and experience it. Be whatever you want to be. So, I took his advice, and here I am. This life might not look like much to you, but I'm content. And isn't that all that matters? Indeed it is. Contentment, happiness, what more can a person need? Anyway, what can you tell me about Rai? Hi, Rothgar. I always thought it was odd that there's a layer of thick clouds covering the peak of the mountain above the monastery. Huh. Not sure what's up there, but I bet the Greybeards know. Have yourself a great day. Have myself a great day. Well, climbing 7,000 steps is probably not going to constitute a great day. A great climb, a great bit of exercise, but not a great day, <laughs> I have to say. Anyway, should we go into town? Maybe we should head out in the morning to arrive in High Rothgar. Stop off at town, get ready for the massive climb. Oh dear. Sounds like Daddy's giving daughter a bit of a t telling off here. Are you alright, Louie? Oh, you're a traveler. You must have so much to tell about the world outside this boring town. Um, not particularly. I'm after information on High Rothgar. The Greybeards are a strange bunch. I heard they live their entire life without uttering a single word. Can you even imagine? No, actually, I can't, to be honest with you. I wish I could go with you. But I heard your father. He said you're not going anywhere near there. Never settle down to have children. Think twice before you do it. Oh dear, that's not a good <laughs> My daughter's driving me crazy. So forgive me if I'm a bit on edge. Can you tell me anything about High Rothgar? They call it the path to the monastery to 7,000 steps. Can you imagine? Nope, I'm nope. not certain if I could even make it to the top without collapsing from exhaustion. Well, I'm afraid I don't have a choice for that. Nothing for anyone here. It looks like a pleasant enough town. The location is certainly nice enough. We have uh, the fast flowing river, it's surrounded by mountains on all sides. Very pleasant indeed. Some people just need to appreciate what they've got and live with it, if you ask me.